What's up guys, this is Vinyl Kuma, and today I'd like to go over 10 of what I think are the best sidearms in Far Cry 4. Now before we start, this video will go over weapons that are not only included in the base game, but will also go over a few weapons that were included with the Season Pass or Far Cry 4's Gold Edition. However, if you don't own the Gold Edition or the Season Pass, don't worry as most of the weapons on this list will be obtainable for you. But without further ado, these are what I think are the top 10 best sidearms in Far Cry 4, starting now. Number 10. The Signature Stinger Scorpion SMG At first glance, you would think that the Stinger is a handgun, however, because it's based on the Scorpion, it's an SMG. Now, compared to some of the other SMGs, the Stinger is actually pretty decent, as it is capable of dealing a fair amount of damage. In fact, the Stinger has a higher listed damage stat than weapons like the MP5 and the Vector 45 ACP, which are acquired later on in the game. The Stinger is also a bit better than the early game SMGs like the MP34, Stormer, and A2000. So, assuming you can destroy two Pagan's Wrath convoys, you're going to have access to an SMG that is capable of some decent damage outputs. The problem with the Stinger, though, is the range and accuracy. However, I would say that the Stinger is still better than many of the other early game SMGs because it is a sidearm and because of its suppressor. Both of these attributes make this weapon useful in a variety of situations, ranging from vehicle combat to stealth. Ultimately, the Stinger is a nice early game weapon and like I said, you can get it for destroying two Pagan's Wrath convoys. Number 9. The Signature Sandman 1911 Pistol Far Cry 4's Sandman Pistol is very reminiscent of Far Cry 3's Shadow Pistol in the sense that both are signature variants of both games 1911 Pistol. As far as handguns go, the Sandman tends to be far better than what I would consider to be most of the semi-automatic handguns in the game. For example, the Sandman generally has superior stats to the M7102, the 1911, and 6P9, and I think it's outright better than both the Sixer and HS77 signature weapons. The Sandman also has pretty good accessories like a reflex sight and suppressor, making it a perfect weapon for earlier portions of Far Cry 4. With this said, I'd say there are really two reasons you wouldn't want the Sandman, and the first has a lot to do with the fact that the Sandman isn't necessarily the strongest handgun in Far Cry 4 and is surpassed by quite a few of the other high-tier handguns like the 44 Magnum, the D50, Rebel, and A99. And you may even find that the AJM9 is a superior choice. The other reason is because you may not have the Season Pass, and like a few of the other signature weapons in Far Cry 4, the Sandman is a Season Pass weapon, and provided that you don't have the Season Pass or the Gold Edition, you won't be able to use this gun. But if you do have the Season Pass, this is a great weapon to use early on because of the suppressor. So I'd recommend picking it up for that reason alone. Number 8. The D-50 Pistol If you like hand cannons, the D-50 is definitely the best one available in Far Cry 4. Now, compared to the other two that are available, which are the 44 Magnum and its signature cannon variants, the D-50 is the strongest as it deals the most damage per shot. However, unlike the 44 Magnum and Cannon, I think you'll find that you're trading range for that additional power, and that may not be desirable for you. Another problem with the D-50 is when you can unlock it. Unlike the Magnum, which is unlocked in Southern Kirat, or the Cannon, which is unlocked after completing five hostage rescue missions, the D-50 isn't obtained until much later on in the game. You will need to complete the Payback quest, which is really far into the main campaign, and is basically well after you unlock Northern Kirat. But if you're looking for raw power, I can guarantee that the D-50 is going to be your best choice. It's just a shame that it's acquired so late in the game. Number 7. The AJM-9 Pistol So, the AJM is a fairly bizarre weapon for a variety of different reasons. Unlike several weapons in Far Cry 4 that are returning from Far Cry 3, the AJM is a returning weapon from Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. 
also unlike many other weapons in the game that are unlocked through more conventional means by completing various quests, the AJM is unlocked by acquiring and then spending 30 Uplay points through the Uplay service. Stat-wise, the AJM is actually pretty decent and manages to outpost many of Far Cry 4's handguns in most areas. Additionally, the AJM is one of the few handguns that can be suppressed really early on in the game, potentially making it a better choice than weapons like the 6P9, HS77, and even the Sandman, provided that you have the season pass. The major problem with the AJM, though, is its lack of a scope slash weapon sight. Um, this attribute restricts the AGM's potential, as the standard iron sights you're left with are too difficult to use while firing from any significant distance. Ultimately, I would say this is a great choice for players that want a great pistol early on, and they have the Uplay points to spare. Later on, however, I think you'll find most other weapons are a better choice. Number 6. The Signature Rebel A99 Pistol when it comes to signature handguns that can be acquired early on, I think it's fair to say that the Rebel is quite possibly one of the best that's available. Based off of the A99 pistol that is normally acquired much later on in Far Cry 4's campaign, the Rebel actually has some superior stats in two key areas, which are when it comes to accuracy and when it comes to the weapon's magazine size. However, when compared to the A99, I think the Rebel comes up short because the A99 is fully customizable, and not only can you equip whatever kind of scope you want on the gun, but the A99 most importantly has access to a suppressor, which is something that the Rebel just simply can't take advantage of. Still, the major advantage that the Rebel has is that it can be acquired much sooner. In order to get this weapon, all you have to do is liberate 10 outposts, and while that may sound a little bit daunting at first, you can accomplish this as early as Southern Kirat, and once you have the weapon, I think you'll find that it is quite possibly one of the best signature handguns until you can obtain the A99. Number 5. The Signature 87-1887 Shotgun so, the 87 is an interesting weapon in that it's actually a signature slash sidearm version of Far Cry 4's 1887 shotgun. Unlike the 1887, the 87 can be fired from vehicles and has superior stats when it comes to damage and fire rates, but has much lower stats when it comes to accuracy, range, and mobility. This makes the 87 more in line with Far Cry 4's non-signature D2 shotgun, which is also a shotgun sidearm, and both the D2 and 87 have the same accuracy and range, with the D2 sporting better mobility, while the 87 has a little bit better fire rates. Perhaps the biggest difference, though, is when it comes to accessories and function. Specifically, the 87 has a reflex sight accessory, and the D2 allows you to fire two shots at once, however, you have to reload two bullets at once, which can prove to be somewhat costly. Of the two, I would say that the 87 is really better, because it has a much larger magazine size, and only consumes one bullet per shot, which makes it a whole lot more ammo efficient. But, if you would want the 87, all you have to do is find 5 Mohan Gully journals, and this weapon is yours to purchase. Number 4. The Signature Cannon 44 Magnum So, the cannon is a returning signature weapon from Far Cry 3. Now, in Far Cry 3, the cannon was unlocked via Uplay, however in Far Cry 4, the cannon is unlocked by completing 5 hostage rescue side quest missions. Now, the cannon tends to be the most balanced hand cannon in Far Cry 4, and while the D50 is technically stronger, has better fire rate, and has a higher magazine size, the cannon has more balanced stats overall. Accuracy and damage are on par with one another, and the cannon also tends to have better range than the D50, quite possibly making it more effective, for medium to long range fights. In my mind, the only thing that would make this weapon better was if it had a suppressor, because if you're not careful while firing the gun, you can end up attracting too much attention, and you have to deal with a bunch of Royal Army soldiers. Otherwise though, the cannon is a great weapon, and is my personal favorite for hand cannon in Far Cry 4. Number 3. 
the autocross. So, the autocross is a great alternative to Far Cry 4's bow that just so happens to be a sidearm. Just like the bow, the autocross has retrievable ammunition and is relatively silent, thus making it a great weapon for stealth. Now, while you can't make yourself explosive or fire bolts for the autocross like you can with the bow, the autocross is capable of a much higher fire rate. In fact, you'll find that you can quickly unload a number of crossbow bolts into targets, dealing fairly high damage in the process. To give you some idea, the autocross should allow you to one-shot most of Far Cry 4's early game Royal Army soldiers, while more heavily armored foes tend to go down in one to two shots, depending on whether you hit the torso or the head. If you want my opinion, the only thing that would really make the autocross better was if you could fire explosive and fire bolts. Not only would this potentially make the autocross a great alternative to the M79 launcher, but it might also be great for quickly setting fires in situations where you find that that's a useful strategy. But, if you would like an autocross, you can acquire it after confronting Deplore during the City of Pain mission, or you can acquire it during your escape of Durgesh Prison during the Don't Look Down mission. Number 2. The A99 Pistol a great way to think of the A99 is that it's essentially a non-signature version of the Rebel that has the advantage of being fully customizable. So not only could you equip a reflex sight or an extended mag to emulate the Rebel, but the best part is that you can equip a suppressor to the A99, which is simply unavailable to the signature Rebel pistol. Keep in mind too that you're obtaining the ability to equip a suppressor while retaining pretty much all of the Rebel's damage potential, making this a perfect pistol for stealth combat later on in the game. The major downside to the A99 though is acquiring it. While it's as simple as playing through the campaign missions, the problem is that the A99 isn't acquired until you've progressed really far through the story and well after you've unlocked Northern Kirat. Still, the A99 is a phenomenal weapon and it might just be the best handgun in Far Cry 4. Number 1. The M79 Grenade Launcher when it comes to sidearms for players that like to go loud, the M79 Grenade Launcher is quite possibly the best one available. Not only will the M79 allow you to one-shot most foes that you're going up against, but because it's a launcher, you generally don't have to be quite as accurate as you would have to be with most other sidearms. As long as you're in the ballpark, enemies are just going to die. I've found that the M79 is a pretty great weapon for dealing with vehicles. While it's not a guaranteed one-shot on trucks and jeeps like the RPG-7 might be, you have the advantage of being able to defeat all the enemies in the truck without entirely destroying the vehicle. Thus, you can then quickly move in, repair the vehicle that you just shot, and then be on your merry way. Now, in my last video on the best weapons in Far Cry 4, I actually got this weapons acquisition wrong. Originally, I said it was available upon visiting your very first trading post. Actually, your best bet to obtain one of these early on in the game is to do an armed escort mission where a M79 will be provided for you if you don't already have one equipped. I highly recommend that you get one of these because you can use one with the buzzer to basically disable alarms from the air. Okay guys, so I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like, click the bell to join the notification squad. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.